This is Michael Swain, Executive Director of 4SA, bringing you an urgent update. On Tuesday the 29th of April, Compta Minister Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma published a new set of regulations under the State of National Disaster and has given until 5 o'clock on Friday the 1st of April for comment. According to media statements by government this morning, these will only be in place for 30 days after the State of National Disaster ends, which is expected to be on the 5th of April 2022. Thereafter, they will automatically lapse. The Compta Minister's regulations are therefore designed as an interim measure. They essentially replicate the proposed restrictions that are contained in the draft health regulation and affirm government's intention to limit gatherings to 1,000 people indoors and 2,000 people outdoors unless you can show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. They're intended to fill the gap between the end of the state of national disaster and the implementation of the new draft health regulations, which are currently open for comments still until Friday the 15th of April. Let me repeat for sake of clarity. The Compton Minister's regulations gazetted last night are simply a stopgap measure. Once the state of national disaster ends, then all the regulations that were made under it will fall away, except for this final set, which only has authority for 30 days. For SA's view is we must keep our focus and comments and submissions on the main thing, the draft health regulations. These will literally dictate our way of life and our society going forward indefinitely. So it is therefore vitally important that every individual, every religious organisation mobilises and sends in submissions on these draft health regulations before Friday 15th of April. We need as many voices as possible to speak out and oppose what in 4SA's view are draconian and unconstitutional measures. And do not be discouraged by ignorant messages saying that unless your submission is in your own words, it doesn't count. Every submission counts and the more submissions we make, the louder our voices become. You can make your submission by going to the 4SA website and clicking on the link in the banner. Take action now, www.forsa.org.za and make your voice heard. Thank you.